Police and protesters clash in the street after an arrest that some say looked more like a kidnapping. Good evening. I'm Maurice Dubois. Christine is off tonight, and we begin with those protests that led to several officers being hurt and nearly a dozen protesters under arrest, with each side saying the other went too far. CBS 2's Jessica Layton live on the east side with the story for us. Jessica. And Maurice, protesters say the arrest that sparked all this controversy tonight looked more like an abduction. But police say this 18 year old woman who is homeless has done a lot of damage in the city. They've been looking for her for a while. And tonight, they finally tracked her down. This is the moment sparking outrage and more distrust of the NYPD tonight. Mike Laster of Brooklyn has been protesting all over the country since the death of George Floyd in May. He says Tuesday night, a large group had peacefully set up to march and feed the homeless in a park at 2nd Avenue and 25th Street when police on bikes showed up and things got out of hand. And they um, grabbed the transgender uh, woman and they threw, they threw her down. I tried to separate myself from the officer and the protest and he threw his bike on me. I just cut all up on my hands and stuff. Between the men in plain clothes and the unmarked van, Laster and others say it looked like a kidnapping. But the NYPD says the woman they arrested, 18-year-old Nikki Stone, was wanted for spray painting the lenses of six police cameras during separate criminal incidents in and around City Hall Park. Police also say this squad uses unmarked vehicles to find wanted suspects, adding the arresting officers were assaulted with rocks and bottles. If you introduce violence to us, we got to reciprocate that violence. Police say as the night went on, protesters blocked traffic. They took about a dozen people into custody. In the midst of the screaming during the tent standoff, you can hear people insisting they were never violent. We are people! While others shouted profanities at police, even daring them to douse them with pepper spray. As for this arrest video, it's not going away quietly. The city council speaker and public advocate are just disturbed and concerned, both saying, we need answers. They're getting very aggressive. Now, protesters will say they were peaceful the whole time, but the NYPD tonight is saying seven of its officers were injured, four so seriously they were taken to the hospital. We're live in Kipps Bay. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jessica, thank you.